James Baker writes, hey guys, love the show. My question is regarding what happened to Hillary Swank since Million Dollar Baby. She hasn't been in many films. I don't understand why. I mean, she has two Oscars and is one of the best actresses around. Thanks, and keep up the great work. Yeah, Hillary Swank is a unique talent. She very quietly went on to do what incredibly few actresses in the history of Hollywood have ever done. Won two Academy Awards. Uh, for acting, and she's she's great. She was fantastic in Million Dollar Baby. Um, she did this little film last year that I think the intentions for it were to kind of be an Oscar baity kind of film. It was The Horseman, I believe, that with Tommy Lee Jones. Holmesman. And, Holmesman, thank you. And Tom, this, Horseman is a very different movie. Yeah. Uh, and Tommy Lee Jones also directed. But more immediately, she's got a new TV show coming out with Ed Harris and Ed Helms called The One Percent created by and being directed by uh, Revenant director Alejandro Gonzalo Zinaritu, and he's like the showrunner on it. So I believe that's coming a little bit later this year. So she's keeping busy. I believe this new show is going to be for stars. I think it's going to be on the stars, not HBO mm -hmm. or, or Showtime, but it's going to be on stars, which is fine. They had Spartacus, one of my favorite shows of all time. Um, so that's what she's going on, and I totally agree with you. I love her as a performer. She's a fantastic actress, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the 1%. Despite the fact that Elms, Ed Helms is going to be the male <laughs> lead in it, I am looking forward to the fact that she's in it. Mark, what do you think? Yeah, she, she's a phenomenal actress. I remember when the new Karate Kid came out, and I was like, <laughs> who's that? She's pretty cute. And she became a, she's a huge talent. Every time she's on screen, it seems like she's in contention for some sort of award. And she was, I think, even as recently as 2014, right? Right. For the for the yeah. homesman, so I I think she'll be back. I don't think she's gone anywhere. She's taking a little bit of time off, but she'll be back and better than ever in 2016. Yeah, I mean she hasn't really taken time off. She's just been in a lot of uh, films that didn't hit an Oscar uh, win. She's won uh, different other uh, rewards awards uh, in like uh, Freedom Writers. She's been on, like she was in an ALS uh, movie that was like two years ago. She's been in a lot of uh, different uh, types of films. She was also in The Core and The Resident, some like lower lower budget kind of like uh, genre pictures. So she's been taking a you know a lot of swings at different kinds of film make films. You know she's produces a lot of films now, especially after she won that second Oscar. So she's in more control of what types of roles that she takes on and what she wants, how she wants to be presented. So I don't think she just kind of like like a lot of actors and actresses who win a couple of awards especially big oscars either they just line up their plate with like three to four films for every you know for the next five to six the years Cuba Gooding Jr. route yes they go that route where it doesn't matter what it is didn't work out so money. well yeah so a lot of actors do that but look I mean I, I always like when actors say look I'm a tool uh, it doesn't matter what the script is I'm you know to, I'll, I'll try I'll do my best as that tool to fit into whatever the role is uh, sometimes it doesn't work out so yeah I mean she didn't disappear she didn't go anywhere she's just not in a lot of these Oscars films recently. I'm sure she'll be doing great stuff on TV. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.